Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode playthrough. How are you all going, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going pretty good myself. I have just started my first day of leave, which means I don't have to go back to work for almost another four weeks now, and I am excited to be able to stay home, pump out videos, and just have a good time obviously spend some more time with the family spend some more time with friends and you know just relax just chill out it's that time of year where we all get to you know take a step back and relax so that is exactly what i'm going to be doing although i'm also going to be uh working myself up with recordings to make and the like but it's something i'm absolutely loving doing so i don't even really think of it as work it's just really, really enjoyable. So, to start off this episode, we are going to uh, continue on with the Agent of Mara quest. Ooh. I've got to remember that you're in here. Uh, I was never in your face, Sapphire. But first, first order of business. Otherwise, hit the road. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you, Kirava. Uh, first order of business. Oh, it's all good, Kirab. I know where it is. Okie dokie, Sapphire. First order of business is to maintain ourselves in survival mode. So we're going to get some sleepy buys, going to get our magicka back up. And I can honestly still say I am loving this mechanic because it is forcing me to play Skyrim and use things in Skyrim that I've never used before. Like sleeping. I literally would just never sleep. My guy would basically be an insomniac from the day I created him until I finished with that character. I never ever slept, ever. It was just not something I ever really even had to do. So, uh, what can we get? I'm going to start trying to spend less time in... Yeah, we need this. This is what I wanted. Okie dokie. Let me know if there's anything else you need. There's nothing. I've contracted severe rock joint. Nice, nice. That's what I like to see. So, we're going to continue on with the, to the B and uh, Agent of Myra quest, as I already said. Sorry, We're going I'm to... I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. Okie dokie, all good. We're going to uh, pick up the thing for the court no wizard thanks. while we're but also... Looking so good. Okie dokie. While we're in Iverstead. Uh, and then we're going to scoot across and destroy the I source of Skuma. God's damn waiting. Yes, yes. Everybody's uh, everybody's talking to me this episode. I'm just going to jump on Gregory the second and hopefully get out of here before we get too much more conversation, too much more distractions. So, after we do those... Okie dokie. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. So, we're on our way to Iverstead. My goodness, it is so hard to think when everyone is talking in my ear. <laughs> so, we've got that... Uh, that will be for a later date. That will be for a later date. I believe that is the fishing, uh, creation club content. Investigate Erica's house. Where is this? So, we're doing that. Erica's house in solitude. Okie dokie. So, yeah, we're going to do, we're going to kill two birds with one stone here, and then we're going to loop around to here and find the skooma deals in craig's craig's lane cavern then we're going to probably come back up through shore stone see what that has to offer and then report all of our progress back to the relevant people so without further ado let's get on with it and let's take that off because that's going to confuse me and let's take that off because that's going to confuse me and we'll put those on so I can remember to do that while we are in either set and just make sure we are tracking the right way. Yup. So it'll be the furthest to the left. Um now there should be there should be two things. Yeah, retrieve the spoon and talk to Fastred. Sweet. Alrighty, I will see us when we get there. So we've just quickly uh come across these Identical the twins. Does not extend to Daedra worshippers. Yeah, Traken. What have you got to say? So you're a vigilant of Stendar? Yes. 
Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. So, who is Stendar? He is the god of mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found, by cleansing all those who would offend his children. And you hunt Daedra? And any other abominations that prey on mortals. Vampires, werewolves, witches. But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Well, there you go. Thank Stand you very much for the law. And with you. Okie dokie. We'll continue on our merry way there. Shroud, Hearth, Barrow, Discovered, Iverstead, Discovered. We are here. Now let's go find Fastrid. There she is. There she is. Please catch her before she goes away. Come on, come on, come on. No, she, we're definitely not going to get her. No. There she goes. Well, at least both the objectives are in here. Okay. Should make it pretty easy. No, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I just want to talk are to you. Are you the one sent by Mara? I am indeed. Just one second. I'm just going to get this spoon. Awesome. Now, can I take stuff in here? Is it all stealing? Yeah, it's all stealing. Don't mind my uh, goat and my fox and my follower. Um, I promise you they won't make a mess. Okie dokie, Fastrid. Are you the one sent by Mara? I am the one sent by Mara. I, oh, bleh, Mara, Mara, I already told you. So. Are you the one sent by Mara? Yeah, again, you wouldn't believe it, but I am. Yeah. Uh, how did you know I was coming? I prayed to Mara and she spoke to me in a dream. She said a stranger would appear to help me. Is that you? Yes. What's troubling you? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. And I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. You sound a little confused. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. Hmm. Let's talk to Fastrid's parents and see what they have, have to say. Have you spoken to my parents yet? Ah, uh, no. No, I haven't. I love to but, uh, okay, dokie. I, I'll go now. Because you're not going to stop talking while I'm in the house, obviously. So. Let's talk to the mother. Body. You know... You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Uh, not quite, not quite. Uh, your daughter asked me to speak to you. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had her problems. I don't tell my husband. But I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. What would inspire them to leave? Bassianus is still so terrified of Yoththor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Hmm. Okay. Sure, okay. leave. Everyone else does. Uh, <laughs> all right. If you ever settle um, down to have children, think twice before you do it. You must be Yoththor. Here we go. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. <clears throat> Your daughter asked me to speak to you. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clinic. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Why do you want her to stay so badly? Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? You think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He'll need some convincing. 
A little push and this would all be simpler. Hmm. Well, just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. You were just saying the exact opposite. <laughs> Kid Doki. You are a little uh you're you're a little confused, aren't you, buddy? So I wanna talk to Hmm. There's one on Klimic and Bassianus. Now, I'm gonna go with Bassianus because from memory Klimic is a little bit of an older fella. Or at least he looks like an older fella. I don't mean to judge. But I feel like Bassianus is more uh, suitable for her. And me being the agent of Mara, of course, I know what's best. So, You don't look Bassi like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Well, actually, I'm about to do you a big favor. Just, I, okay, uh, all right, all right, all right. No more, no more. Thank you. Bassianus. What do you want? Oh, you better start being nice to me. Be okay. You're looking a yes, bit under the weather. okay, please stop. Bassianus. Make it quick. Botty said to talk to you about Fastrid. Oh, my love. How I long to take her away from all of this. Why did Botty send you to me? She said that you should elope. I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor? What about him? He'll come after us, and it will be unpleasant. Boti said she would handle Yoththor. 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 She would. If she's willing to deal with him, then everything would be all right. I'll... I'll go speak to Fastrid. Post haste. Okie dokie, let's do it. Let's, uh... No, I won't steal any of that. We'll come along, we'll have a look at what this little interaction is. Where's he gone? Come on, run to her. Come on, you can do it. There you go. There's the good pathing the NPCs have. These damn bears are driving me crazy. Ooh, I'm pretty sure we need to talk to you after. And where is Fastrid? There she is. Pilgrim or not, if I were you, I'd move right Fastrid, we must speak. Bassianus, sweetie, what is it? We must leave. Your father will never approve of us, and I grow weary of this place. Where will we go? To Rift in my pet. How you'll adore the city. My oh, pet? To be with you. Hmm. I'll make the preparations immediately. I don't know if I'm reading too much into that or if I made the wrong decision. Oh well. Return to Dinya Balu, and we already got the spoon, so we've killed two birds with one stone. Now let's talk to you. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? If I didn't know any better, you'd sound like you're having a bit of a bear problem. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Let's do it. So, again, this is another thing we can do because we'll be passing through Iverstead eventually, inevitably, later on. Uh, we can't avoid we'll it because we'll be on the steps to High Hrothgar. Uh, don't worry, I will, I will. So, we will inevitably uh, be passing back through here. So, we'll get that quest and we'll make sure, or I'll try to remember, most likely I won't, but I'll try my bestest. Uh, to have some bear pelts when we pass back through so we can finish that quest from her. Now, is there... Where's, where's Gregory the second? Where did I get off? Where did I get off of you, Gregory? Or where did you run to? More than likely. Gregory. Oh, Gregory. How I dislike this. So m Oh, there you are. <sighs> okay, okay. Now we are off to Craig's Lane Cavern. What's this here? Retrieve. Okay, so that's the other stuff. Uh, uh, we'll get these done pretty shortly because we will eventually be traveling to Winterhold, and then from Winterhold we always have to go to Windhelm to get the carriage. So those those will kind of just happen organically. I won't even really have to focus or bother trying to remember those. But for now, the Book of Love, yep, we'll do that. But we will also... Ah, uh, it's in Misk, isn't it? 
gather 10 bear pelts, find the skimmer dealers. There we go. We'll take those ones off. Actually, no, we'll leave them on. We'll leave them on because they won't be too distracting. And will help me remember them. Okie dokie. Let's go. Am I heading the right way? I am not. Bad start. Here we are. Okie dokie. Let's get there. Hilda, don't look. Hilda, don't look. Don't look, Hilda. Don't look, Hilda. Don't look. Don't look. What have we got here? Looks like a certain someone is going to try and take right, something from us. Hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. I don't think so, buddy. I do not think so. Do I look like I have any money? Yes, actually. You look like you are lousy with gold. I am not going to yeah. ask again. I mean, he's a good he's a good judge of character. I do have like 10,000 gold right now. Hmm. Oakley doakley. Uh I don't have time don't for this. You walk away from me. Uh, that's You're exactly dead. what I'm going to do. I'm going to cower away from you real quickly. Get my stuff sorted real quickly. Get this guy out real quickly. Get some, uh, not that, some stone, nope, not that, some stone flesh going real quickly. And get some of this going on Uthgird real quickly. Okie dokie. Let's see what you got, my friend. Strangulation. Come on. Come on. What you got? Not much it's looking like. Not much. To be fair, you actually are pretty strong. You're taking damage from three people right now and you're lasting this long. You're, you're doing pretty well. I'll give you that. But I don't think you're making it out of this one. It's just a just a hunch I've got. Almost there, buddy. Now, hopefully that doesn't hit him. And hopefully I can... Nope. <laughs> oh, well. All good. We got him anyway. Ooh, and he's got some... Ah, it's not enchanted. Yeah, we'll leave it all. We're not in a position right now where we're awfully strapped for cash. Sweet. And here we go. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, no, not a hero. Not a hero. That would be Uthgerd. I'm just here for the... Uh... Ooh, what can I do here? Pit wolf, eh? Hey? I will leave that. I'm just here for the Skuma Dealer. And what are you? You're a bouncer, hey? How much uh, damage does this do here? Not much, not much. This ain't good. So, what we're going to do? We're going to do the age old Stone Flesh, Atronach, and if Uthgird appears, we'll courage her. But until then, looks like we're just going to. Oh, I can't do this, otherwise, I'm going to hurt everybody. We'll go back to Strangulation. No, no, quite all right. We'll just start. Uh, we'll kill you instead. There we go. Now, where did you go? There you are. Alrighty. Hopefully, Uthgird. Ah, she'll appear as soon as we go in there. And here we go. I'm thinking, just because we can, and because this guy, it's probably better if we put him out of his misery. He's probably not living the best life. We'll uh, we'll get some lockpick experience. We'll, uh, we'll get some lockpick experience. Almost there. Here we go. Very close. Very, very close. I reckon I'll get it on this next one. Joking. Just joking. It's this one. Here we are. Nope. Nope. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this now. It's because I said I was going to get it. Now I'm not going to get it. Now I'm going to have heaps of trouble. Oh, so close. Come on. Let's just get this done now. There we go. And we're gonna skadoop. And then we're gonna skadoop. Oh, you're quite a strong wolfie. Hopefully you got a, a, a good soul for us. No, no, don't run away. Don't be painful. There we go. Come on, make this easier on us. Make this easy on us and make this easy on yourself. Almost there. Boom. Good stuff. Aren't you glad you get to be an enchantment now? How good. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll give this a quick unlock just to get the experience. And we are in. Disrupt the Skooma operation. You haven't seen us yet, have you, buddy? Because otherwise you would definitely be doing something, I feel like. Ooh. 
was not the show, and someone had to die. How about that? What a very fitting little jingle, eh? Oh? Are you not gonna aggro on us? Now yeah, I thought so. Skadoosh. And skadoosh. And here we go with the final piece of the puzzle. And then from here we'll get out this bad boy. Oh! And we'll start doing this. Hey, he doesn't have a name. That's strange. Is that a... That's gotta be a bug. There's usually a name. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Come on, mate. Jeez, these guys are still so strong. We're gonna need to look to go into the College of Winterhold soon. We've gotta be... We've gotta have access to better spells. So we can take these guys out a bit easier. Because this is just taking too long now at this point. It shouldn't be taking this long, I feel like. Especially with like three people putting damage down on them. What we definitely need is going to be the uh, Storm Atronach. Once we get that, we can really start... Um, once we get this, the Storm Atronach, we can really... Ooh, actually, uh, I always forget. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. And don't you go alerting everybody else. Don't you go alerting everybody else. You're going to alert everybody else. Everybody else is alerted. Oh, come on. Let's just kill him. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. There we go. No soul gem large enough. Well, that's a waste. Gambler, barkeep, butcher. How about that? Alrighty. Let's uh, get that out. Let's... I've never done this mission before. I'm, I'm, I'm going into this completely blind. But this is cool. So... Uthgird's, uh, she's, she's, she's taken on a fair few that, oh boy, not good, not good. Okay, okay, let's get this out. You now I've got to be careful not to kill Uthgird. Take that, jump over here. Get all them. It is, unfortunately. Okay, you're almost dead, so we'll get rid of you. Bada bing, bada boom. And then, where's Uthgard? What? How did the... How did I get one-shotted by the wolf? I must have... My health must have been down. Okay, okay, let's do this again. Oh my goodness, these guys are a hell of a lot stronger than I thought they were going to be. This is the strongest barkeeper I think I have ever encountered. So, Craig Lane, chest key, yes. Gold, yes. Now all we have to do is contend with the butcher. But what I'm going to do is quick save because it has taken a surprising amount of times. Not like ridiculously, like a, a ridiculous amount of times, but a surprising amount of times to come through here and try again. Like, these guys are strong. Crazy, crazy strong. Like, not at all what I thought they were going to be at all. But, we're almost through it now. We've almost got this guy. Once he's done, I think there's two more. Yeah, one or two more red dots in there. But I'm not sure if they're, if they're wolves or if they are other NPCs. Man, oh man, do I hope they are just wolves sitting in cages. Because these guys are strong and it takes forever to whittle down their health. Because all I've got, as I said earlier, is the Flame Utranach. And they're all done with. So they are, the Flame Utranach just literally acts as nothing but a bit of a tank. Because they do, not, uh, they do not take any damage from it whatsoever. So we've got a Dwarven Shield, Dwarven Greatsword, Craig Lane, Dog Cage Key... 250 steel plate armor steel plate boots steel plate gauntlets hilda i need you this is your exact purpose so i need you to carry something i wonder what your actual carry weight value is because i've already given you a, a few things i'm gonna have to look it up so i know exactly how much you can carry but until i, I think i'm gonna i think i'm really gonna push it to the test and i'm gonna load you up with stuff so i can get an idea of just how much you can carry okay there we go it's already happening now um, just how much you can carry before you are completely full. So you can carry a bit. Like, it's not an insane... Well, I take that back. It's all heavy armor. So what's that? 43. No, that's the armor rating. Weight, 38. Um, 6, 35, 12, 9, 8, 4, 2, 2, 5, 2, 1. So it's definitely over 150, I would say, is the carry weight. Possibly 200. Not too sure. I'm not that quick at maths, but 
it's a good amount at the very least. So now we just have to go in here. And yeah, as I thought, it's just two of these guys. So what we're going to do... Oh man, would that have upset me? Would that have upset me greatly? Uh, but luckily we missed it. So, Skuma. Yes, 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 yes. I also picked up something else, but I don't know what it was. So I'm not going to be able to find it. Skuma. Skuma, Skuma. Gold coin purse. Light Amanita. Uh, hang on there, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, uh, let me quickly do this before you kill them. Soul trap. Bing. Did I get you? No. Come on, let me... There we go. Got him. Okay, now do your thing. Are you good? Yeah, I'll help you out. Oh, that's a strong pit bull. Jeez. Good for some destruction, though. Oh, man. This is a, actually a really hard place to clear out. A hell of a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be for a... Uh, for just like a, a misc quest Come given on, to us by the Yarl. And actually has taken a fair bit longer than I thought it would, too. Like, it's a decently paced out story. Like, you have that random interaction with the NPC and Rift, and then you have to talk to the Yarl, and then they send you in, and then you fall back to the Yarl. Like, it's not too long, but it's... I mean, it's decently long for a miss quest. We're gonna... There we go. I was gonna try and cast Soul Trap again, just in case the uh, time will run out, but we're all good. So let's see what's in this chest. Orcish Battle Axe of Fire. Love it. Gold, love it. Madness Ore, love it. Potion of the Berserker, I'll take it. Staff of Reanimation, I'll take it just to sell, and I'll take that as well. Oh, Uthgird. Oh, Uthgird. I wonder if... Can I get Sweet Roll to carry things as well? They definitely wouldn't be able to carry much, I'd, I'd say. I'd say what they'd be able to carry would be very, very minimal, but let, yeah, they can't carry anything. I'm not even going to bother. Uthgird, come here. Come on. Come on. Almost there. There we are. We've stopped. What is it? I just need to trade some things with you. What do you need to take? No, I'm not taking anything. Just giving you some stuff real quick just so I can run again. So we're going to give you that. Uh, we are going to give you that and that and that and that. Sweet. We've got plenty of room so we can run. Uh, and we're just going to sleep real quick. What are we looking at in terms of our level? Okay, we got to level up. So... What I'm going to do real quick. Actually, no, we'll just sleep. We'll just sleep. So it's 9 p.m. We'll sleep until the morning. So we'll go 11. Zoop. Get the level up going. Magicka again. And we'll go... Can we... I really want to get these. The Augmented Shock and Augmented Flames. That'll be a really good turning point impact. Most destruction spells will stagger an opponent when dual cast. Don't think we need that just yet. Let's have a look at how we're going in restoration. So that's a probable one that we'll be getting. Alteration, how are we tracking here? Mage armor, yeah, leaving that for now. We're going to get this right off the bat. Blocks 20% of a spell's effects. That can, that's just invaluable. Let's, what's the next one? Uh, I guess we have to wait until we can see the next one. But yeah, invaluable, like literally blocking magic is like having a ma having magic do less damage to you is like you can't beat it it's it's the best uh the best um passive active effects that you can really get in the game in my opinion because magic especially with uh some mages just is incredibly powerful just does so much damage the wolf queen lock picking increased and we'll take the book because it's a skill book uh, have we got the key for this chest? We do. 60, potion of healing, and steel greatsword. Take it. Why not? I'm in the mood to take things now. I wasn't before, but I am now. And let's, while we're here, get some muffle going, because we've got plenty of magicka. And why not? Let's train some illusion. Our magicka is, gone, is uh, developing really, really nicely. I feel like we're going to be ready to take on some of the much stronger, much harder... Uh, quests and opponents in the game very very soon but I'm liking the way that we're uh whoop, excuse me oh actually no, I'm just gonna jump right on you Gregory I'm liking the way actually I'm gonna quickly do illusion one more time just quick just quick I'm liking the way the uh, the series is going so far we're like sprinkling in some uh, sprinkling in some quests sprinkling in side quests sprinkling in leveling we're getting a bit of everything um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I hope you guys are as well. I mean, obviously, that's the main point of me putting out this content is hopefully you guys are liking what you're seeing. And uh, 
we'll soul trap this skiver and we'll head off to Riften. And we are coming up on Shaw's Stone. Now, this is another little village I'm not awfully familiar with. Why do you look like you want to fight people, man? What is going on with you? This is uh, this not a village I typically uh, come to or have anything to do with. So I'm kind of not familiar with it at all. Hopefully, I, I want to... Ooh. Are those ebony ores? No way. Are they? They are. And we can just take them. We're definitely taking them. Ebony ore is uh, not the easiest. Ebony ingots and ebony ore are not the easiest things to come by in the game. I'm hoping we get some quests that uh, bring us through here. But as of right now, I really want to I really want to not get sidetracked and kind of just uh, focus on what we've got at hand. Because I have filled up our quest log quite a bit. So let's start. Uh, I want to start... Uh, finishing and completing a lot of those quests and um yeah clearing up our quest log before we fill it back up again and here we are back in riften let's quickly hit up the temple of mara to submit this quest and i believe she sends us out in a few more before we actually uh finish these off sorry mate so i'll just yes. get out of your face there no no not talking to you how do you feel? Dinya. I think you might be sick. That is what everyone's telling me. I really need to. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that right now. There we go. I feel other blessings Lady removed. Mara, all diseases cured. Blessings of Mara added. Awesome. Dinya. What is it you seek, my child? I helped the young lovers in Iverstead. How wonderful! Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Does Mara require more of me? She definitely does. I see you are eager to carry the light. Yes, very eager to get that As passive venture, buff. Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Awesome. So talk to Kalsama. I completely forgot that we actually helped this guy out. And he is an extremely helpful person to have as a friend. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he should become our friend. I really hope he does because yeah there's a few there's a few quests that involve him that are just so much easier we can pass speech checks easier and all that i'm pretty sure if he is our friend so he's definitely a good person to be helping out and now let's talk to the yarl about this schooner operation welcome to riften traveler i hope the road fared well for you oh thank you you're very very nice very considerate yarl the craigs lane Oh, jeez, what happened? There? The Craig's Lane operation has been stopped. Well done. Your continued efforts have been of great benefit to the people of Riften. Allow me to present you with this compensation for your selfless efforts. Oh, it was really nothing at all. Sanctified iron sword added. Thank you very much. Hopefully Good I can disenchant that. Thank you, and to you. As uh, as yes. I would ask Too bad I don't care. Hmm. Yes, I sweet. This you. is what we need. Was it? Hmm. I was getting oh. something for you. You getting something for me? Yes, I was indeed, and I will get those things for you. I've already got one of them. Just need another two, and then I'll be uh, I'll be right with you. But first, let's quickly see if you've got anything that's enchanted. Do you? Do you? Do you? Did I give you anything? No. Now, Uthgerd, where are you? Are you in here? Did you have some sort of official business here? Uh, nothing official right now. Already... Where, where is Uthgerd? Uthgerd? Oh, man. Is she, like, disappeared again? Vampire hunters or something, I'm pretty sure. Crazy stuff. And Uthgerd has disappeared again. We're just gonna have to wait for her to reappear. Oh, the pain. The pain, the pain, the pain. Oh, well. I the respect for the restoration school. Thank you. Well, you know who would be, uh, you know who would be absolutely chuffed to hear that. I can't remember her name, but she's ooh, per your requests. What is this? 
Willindar Willindria, your letter sent to the College of Winterhold was rife with grammatical errors and incomplete thoughts, making them difficult to discern. Could you please clarify the points below for us to ensure we're on the same page? We have no record of a cloud emulsifier device or anything involving the magical manipulation of the clouds. Second, we can't send you a sample of the heart of Lorcan for experimentation as no such sample exists. And finally, the 14th paragraph of your letter, you mentioned a substance called green moat. We're assuming this was a simple mistake and you meant to write green spore. If that's the case, we have contaminated skeva carcasses with the disease available if needed. We'd also like to thank you for sending us your notes regarding your experiments. We've all had quite a grand time reading them. Mirabel Irvine. Ooh, a little bit of an underhanded, backhanded thing to say there, I'm thinking. Do you have anything we want? Oh, you do indeed. Ooh. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Did we have an appointment? No, no. no. Was no, a no, delivery? Didn't. No, uh, I would be. Uh, I'll be getting some things Can't for you. Remember. But if you just look away, just for a quick second, Watch just for a quick second. Doing. No, no. I'm oh, sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Why don't you just look away very quickly, please? Thank you. Almost excuse there. My disorganization. No, no. You're but excused. You're excused. No, no. It's uh, it's okay. I I believe you. Very delicate experiments. You don't want anyone distracting you. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get those two things. Thank you. Thank you very much for making that not painful at all let's quickly have a look if i can make some garlic and some nordic barnacle and do i have any more i don't i'm out of salmon row dang that's unfortunate um hmm <laughs> oh well oh well uh actually no let's see what we can let's get rid of uh clear selections yep Let's see what we can make here. So damage magic a regen, fortify health, or fortify sneak, regenerate health, restore health. We really need a restore magicka. That is pretty much the only thing we need, and it doesn't look like we can make it. Oh well. Oh well, too bad, so sad. So now, what I want to get on with... Do we have anything in here we can use? I don't think so. I don't want to steal anything else anyway. She's probably already going to... Uh, Hilda. No. Hilda. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, what I want to get on with now, since we have finished the Agent of Myra quest, uh, and we've been given a new quest to go do, we've also completed the Jarl's quest. I'm just thinking about things in my head of what we are going to do next what i wanted to do i wanted to do something i cannot remember and i just remembered okay so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this bounty for crow's tooth i can't remember where we got this but i'm i'm pretty sure we got it in the b and barb so bounty rumor has it that forsworn raiding parties have been pushing further and further east along the gerald mountains the arrival of Legate Fassendel has prevented further incursions, but they failed to apprehend their leader, Crow's Tooth. While Crow's Tooth has been separated from her forces, she is believed to have fled with considerable spoils. In an effort to put an end to this threat, anyone killing Crow's Tooth may claim her stolen loot. Mercenaries like infamous sellsword Bjormund Windstrider have been seen heading into the mountains beyond Darklight Tower. While they could be after the treasure, it is feared Crow's Tooth is gathering these forces for a renewed assault. We ask capable warriors for their aid in dealing with this potential threat. And Uriel. Okie dokie. And now I'm pretty sure, or at least if we got it in the BM bar, I'd assume it's nearby. Ah, there we go, Crow's Tooth Camp. I didn't even have to didn't even have to get the quest marker up for it. So we're going to bones for a crow, do that, and where's... Okay, that's all the way over in Markarth, which is handy because we're looking to head to Markarth soon. So we will do that at the same time. Oh, how efficient, how efficient. I'm absolutely loving the efficiency. Could we be more efficient? Definitely. Could my thoughts be less scrambled? Definitely. But no, does my no, brain no, just decide... Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. That's exactly what I'm doing, just lollygagging, just yabbing. Sorry, it's going to continue. I kind of have to. But does my brain leave me sometimes when I'm trying to think of things to say or when I'm thinking about things I'm going to do or when I'm thinking about doing other things and all that kind of stuff and when I forget where I'm going with what I'm saying? Yeah, it happens all the time. More often than I would like. But 
that's just the curse of having to think of things to say continuously for a long period of time. Okay, yeah, let's get rid of that marker. And yeah, that's really close. It shouldn't take too long. So we'll be there in three, two, one. And here we are, and we have it all happening. We have a bear after us. We have some wolves after us. We are more than likely going to be taking on some Forsworn very shortly. We are just absolutely killing it. And we're like so powerful too. We can definitely take all these guys on at once. Absolutely no problem. Especially without Uthgird. I really feel like Uthgird would just wang us down. Hey, no joking. Completely joking. I really hope Uthgird just shows up and helps out. Because otherwise I'm about to be one hit by this bear. And not be able to do anything about it. Hopefully we can... How much health is this going to do? Yeah, nothing. We really need Uthgird to just appear out of nowhere and save the day. Hopefully she spawns with us when we go into Dark Light Tower. Or hopefully that bear just runs away and aggro's off of us because we're not going to be able to kill it without Uthgird. Um, okay, hopefully I can just run in here and there's no immediate Forsworn, although I'm not sure that's going to be the case. I feel like there will definitely be Forsworn to contend with. So we're going to save right here so I don't have to go too far back and make that trouble all over again. And it's actually seeming pretty all right. No Forsworn. Huh? That's got to be... Uh... Okay, I'll take it. I'm definitely not complaining about that. Let's let's head in there. And Uthgird, are you going to pop up and save the day and be the best ever? Are you? I don't know, but people are fighting. Um, who are they fighting? Let's go in here. Well, she wasn't happy with someone. Are you? Are you gonna be not happy with me? The oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I know this looks bad. Let me explain. <laughs> well, okay. First off, what is this place? I called it home. Now I know that was a mistake. I am, or was part of a coven serving the Hag Ravens that live here. So was she. Right. Yeah, uh, so was she. Key word there being was. You killed that woman. I didn't want to, but she attacked to try and keep me from leaving. I can't be a part of this place anymore. The things we do here, evil, evil things. No more! Hey, well, at least you've got a conscience. Uh, why did she need to die, though? We were supposed to find a sacrifice. Human sacrifice. I told her I couldn't do it, and she attacked. Well, you're a good person, then. I've done horrible things living here, but never taken an innocent life. I couldn't just find some person for them to kill. Oh, I really like you, Ilya. I really, really hope I can get you as a follower or something. Why did you need a sacrifice? The initiation. My mother is going to become one of those things. I can't be a part of it. Oh, yeah. Gods, I can't no. run away from this. I have to stop her. I will definitely help I'm you. I'm going up there to stop her. This cycle must end. I don't know what brought you here, but I could use your help if you're willing. Yeah, 100% I'm going to help you. I couldn't imagine my mother being uh, turned into one of those things. I believe you're saying you're talking about Hagravens. If so, disgusting. I'll definitely help you. Good. Follow me. We have to fight our way up. I don't think anyone else here is about to have a change of heart. Let's do it. So happy to help you, Ilya. Who is this? Witch. Robes of Mind Alteration. Yes, let's disenchant those bad boys. And what's in here first? Adept Lock. Here we go. Ooh, right off the bat. Nope. 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 I feel like I've gotten worse as lock at lock picking as this uh as this playthrough's gone on usually or it could be the survival mode um, sometimes I have like active effects that I'm not aware of that are affecting my lock picking that would be the handy excuse but I'm really not sure sometimes I feel like I'm killing it other times I feel like I'm just finding it way too hard someone's got a little sniffle who's got the sniffle I've got a flame atronach to warm you up where are ya okay doki that's not you that has the sniffle get rid of you yeah, there's someone here. Well, it's a thing. There's a thing here. Okie dokie. Both of them gone. Now let's find who had that sniffle. I got a feeling you might be through this door. Yes. No. Yes. There you are. 
Ooh, stay away from them. They are all very, very powerful. Too powerful for me. Way too powerful for me. Let's get some stone flesh out. Let's get some cur courage. Can I courage you? I definitely can. Awesome. Good stuff. I'm glad you are on my side, Ilya, because it looked like he absolutely destroyed that witch. Minor healing. Uh, oh, sweet roll. Stop it. Jeez. You guys, you're cute, and I love having you around, but man, oh man, are you... Are you getting on my nerves? Okay. Let's continue pressing forward. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Let's go, Ilya. Let's go. We got this. And somebody's already aggroed onto us. Get that out there. Let's get some stone flesh up again. Let's get some courage on Ilya. There we go. Not that she needs it. She's a powerhouse already, but... Let's help her out. Oh, she's absolutely destroying that troll. Go on, Ilya. Go on. Go on. Absolute. Absolute beast. Pet. I believe you, Ilya. Man, oh man, are you a beast? Keep going. Keep going. Let's, uh... Hmm. Let's just do this just to get some illusion up, I guess. Hopefully, aggro on me so it pulls him back out. Yep. And then the others will come out of that little hidey hole as well. And while he's out, we can hit him with some of these really don't want to hit Ilya, so I'm really trying to be conscious of hitting her. I don't think she'll die, and I hopefully, yeah, she won't aggro on us. Oh, and she's got full health after all that. Okie dokie, Ilya. You are a beast. There's a trap up there. You'll most likely, um, trigger it. What is that? Is that like a part of a Strigan or something? I don't know. Well, yeah, it is, but I've never seen that before. Um, good. If you're staying there, that means you won't trigger whatever trap is up here, because as good as you are, you're still a follower, and... You know, it's part of the the uh, charred skeever hide that looks like some food that's ready to eat. And yeah, a part of your... Uh, oh boy, you guys are going to trigger it. I'm just going to save right here just in case. Part of your uh, thing of being an AI is you have to trigger traps. Like, you, there's no negotiating a trap. You must trigger it as you walk by. And don't worry, I understand. You don't have a choice. Uh, it's just what it's just the AI you've been given, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. So, yeah, long story short, I like you, but I'm wary of you. That's pretty much the same with every single follower. And what is going on here? Let's have a look-see. Hopefully, I'm not going to do this just to open up the pathway to a, a wall. And that's exactly what happened. But there's a chest. Awesome source. Well, let's get the rest of those lock picks real quick. There we go. And press forward. Lead the way, Ilya. Or I'll lead the way. Oh, guess not. Can't go through that door. This is a bit of a twisty turny roundabout place. Hold the lever when you're ready and we'll take her. We already okay. <laughs> I don't know what's that was a bit of a loop. Okay. Hagraven up ahead, you reckon? Wooden door. And let's get that out. That Hagraven's going to be ridiculously strong. I already know it. Then Ilya, get up there. Please. Please get up there, Ilya. I need you. Hilda, sweet roll, please. I reckon they're going to be what kills us here because they are going to block Ilya from getting up there. I'm doing heaps of damage to the flame matronarch. Am I doing heaps of damage to the Hagrave? And the answer is no, I'm not. But with these, uh, with the shock thing, hopefully the shock part of the spell is taking away all of the Hagra. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get it, get it earlier. Oh man. Alright. Hopefully, ah, uh, the save isn't too far back, so won't even bother cutting. We literally are saved right here. Yup. Prepared the save for something else. Ended up being okay. Yeah, this is what's confusing me is that we just have to... Ah, oh, okay, so we got to pull the lever. And then we'll open up both doors. Scene on, tracking. Let's do it. Let's quickly get the loot out of here again. Skadoosh, skadoosh. Open up, take all, continue pressing forward. Requires key, scene on. Did I get anything in here? Nope. 
pull the lever, cronk, and push forward. Careful, Hagraven up ahead. Yeah? No? Okay, just me. Let's open this. Let's do this. Let's get this up. Hopefully, I'm not going to die too quickly, but I have been poisoned. It's not looking good. I might have rushed in a bit too quick, but the main goal here, oh boy, is to try and get Ilya up above those stairs so she can start helping out. There we go. Goal achieved. Now let's start hitting the Hagraven. Let's get rid of this boss fight spider. Oh boy. Sorry, Ilya. Oh no, don't tell me I've aggroed you. No, I haven't. Good, good, good. Let's uh, get some restoration up. Keep going, Ilya. Uh, I bet you will. That Hagraven does not stand a chance to get against you. Let's have a look at this frostbite spider. I am starving. Let's just sit down and have a quick, <laughs> have a quick cabbage soup in the middle of this. Alrighty, lunch break done. Here to help you again, Ilya. Search chests. I'm doing it again. I'm so. I just. I get absolutely. 100% distracted just making sure I can get everything. Even in the middle of combat, I just start looting stuff. It is a terrible habit. But I also feel like I can't really help. So that's why I do it. I just feel like I'm not doing much. But well, I suppose we're doing a bit here now. Let's uh, get this back at... Oh, that Hagraven healing itself is going to be so annoying. So what I'm going to do is prioritize these bad boys. Hopefully just sap all of its magic away. This Hagraven is getting absolutely smashed, getting smashed with frostbite, getting smashed with fire, getting smashed with sparks. Absolutely no chance. Hagraven feathers and taproot, take them both. Both very good ingredients. And we are almost there. Now, are we... Do we have the quest going to help you for your... Yeah, help Iliot reach the top of Darklight Tower. Okay, okay, so we've got to get... So, sweet. Okay, once again, killing multiple birds with one stone. Just going to quickly uh, undo this one. And we'll get both of these going. Sweet. And I think a... Sorry. Real quick, I think a quick save is in order. Because I don't want to die and do that again with the Hagrave. And I feel like we got a bit lucky there. Ooh, jeez. Not good. Now that's up. Get some of this up. Get some of this on Ilya. And let's start smashing them with this. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff, Ilya. Thank you for weakening them for me so I could get the one shot and take the kill. Hilda, what are you doing all the way up there? Okie dokie. Looks like we've still got a little ways to go. Or not. Damn. One of the hags nearby will have the key locked. Damn. One of the hags nearby will have the key. You'll have to take it from here. I'll keep watch here. Unless you can pick the lock. Ooh, that depends. Does it require key? Master. Mm. Damn. Mm. I really want the experience. But also... Let's, uh, let's take that. Uh, I can probably pick the lock, to be honest. But I also want to see what else this dungeon has to offer. So you just chill there and I'm going to kill these peeps. Hopefully. Hopefully kill these peeps. Oh boy. I really don't know if I can do this without you, Ilya. But I'm going to give it my best shot. I am going to give it my best shot. But for this we're going to need this. It would be super handy if we had Uthgerd. But this is one time where... We can definitely use this, I think. So let's do that and let's get, let's just absolutely smash. So that one's done. Oh, okay. So we're going to get, we're going to be getting, uh, we're going to be getting that, but she's also, she's going to be refilling our magicka, but she's also going to be very damn near killing us with every shot. So we're going to have to have these potions ready to go. Oh. I should have saved before I enter that room. We're doing pretty well though. We're tracking pretty well. I think that's the way to do it. Um, okay, we'll. Uh, I'll get you guys back there real quick. Okie dokie, and we're back up here. Let's see if we can do this. Let's try and take care of this tag real quick. I reckon we can get her pretty quickly once we get her. I only have to worry about the Hagrave. Oh boy, that's not good. 
Okie dokie. What are our scrolls? We have okay, that's uh probably not gonna be too oh it could be pretty useful actually. Targets take Hmm. We might give that a crack. Because I'm not sure if that uses our magic or if we use the scroll or if we can just cast that infinitely. Can we just cast that infinitely? Oh no, it's one of these things. Nope, not using it. Not using it, not using it. We that is gonna get us killed so quick. Let's get back out of this. And let's activate this and let's go. Bang. 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 Hit me with the spell. Hit me with the spell, maybe. Hit me with the spell to activate a dragon skin. I need you to hit me with a spell. When you're ready, just hit us with a spell real quick. There we go. Get some of this back. And let's quickly no. Let's quickly get some healing going. Almost there. See, this is where the Breton's uh, racial ability really, really shines because any little bit of magic she gets back while I'm waiting for my magic to get back will just help me recharge. And then from there, I can just hit up potions of healing if she's going to kill me, like I have been doing. And bada bing, bada boom. That is how you kill a Hag Raven. Absolutely decimated her. No chance. No chance. Okay. Let's, uh, mm, I wanted to kill her, but I also want to see if I can get that master lock. Kind of just something about me wants that master. Ooh. Okay, so we can master lock pick that. Let's loot this hag, see if she has anything. No. Search chest. 92. We're definitely going to have a go at picking that master lock, but I want to make sure we have everything else first. Let's a soul gem, salt pile. And that's looking like it is about it up there. Okie dokie, let's give this master lock a crack. Hopefully, I don't snap every single lock pick trying to get it. Okay, I was going to cut there, but I didn't even need to cut. I swear that, uh, oh, maybe I will still cut it, but I swear that I only took like four lock picks. So, uh, pretty happy with that, to be honest. Confirmation that I'm not as bad at lock picking as I thought I was getting from how some of the other uh, lock picking. Uh, Charades have gone. Now let's have a look see here. Do I wanna Damn. Damn. Yeah, I know. Uh, I already picked a master lock. I'm just gonna I'm You'll just gonna get I'll that open. Here. It's all good, we can go now. Yeah, no, here no, it's already open. <laughs> Ooh we over uh what's the word? Over committing a little bit there. All good though. We're out of the line of fire. And got that off. Cool. Now, let's take all these. What are they? And why can't I pick them up? They look like eyeballs. That's probably why I can't pick them up. I don't think that's an ingredient. Yeah, they look like the skeever's eyeballs, maybe. Hmm. Nice and gross. Nice and gross. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Yeah, I have not seen a place like this before. This is quite the uh, bad place. I can see why you want to leave, Ilya. I can definitely see why you want to leave. Pretty disgusting what you guys are doing. And where is Uthgird, man? I really, really want Uthgird. <sighs> this is... So... This would be so much easier with her. Get that. Run back. You know the drill. Courage up. Ah, uh, no. Not courage. Stone flesh up. Courage Ilya. Our new Uthgird, it would seem. And... Smash these guys with some destruction spells. I can. Oh, well, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see whether or not I die here. But I, I'm okay. You're already dead. Awesome. Yeah, I think I can take you. I think I'm, uh, I'm tracking pretty well actually. Definitely thought I'd be doing worse at this point, but uh, we're doing well. Maybe it's Ilya. Probably Ilya. But hey, I'm not too bad. I'm not too, not too upset with my efforts either. I think we're doing. I think I'm doing alright. Mystery of Tolara. We can definitely use this for a destruction increase because destruction, if you all aren't tracking, is probably the most annoying, hardest thing to get up and a lot of people resort to cheesing it on things like strong horses and stuff because it is just insane to try and get this to level 100. So again, another reason we're going to have to hit the College of Winterhold is not only to get better spells because we're hitting that level now, but also because we need... Oh, All right. 
Mother is just outside this door. I have a plan. What's the plan, Ilya? I'll present you as the sacrifice. Just play along. While Mother begins the ritual, I'll strike. Then together we can... We can kill her. Kill her? I've thought this through and it's the only way. She's too far gone, too corrupted by the hags. At least in death she can be free again. Enough. Let's go. Man, this has got to be tough on you, Ilya. This has got to be really, really tough on you. I feel for you. But as I was saying, uh, as well as getting some new spells, we will also be just getting them all healed up. We will also be getting some training in destruction. I feel like that's the only school of magic I uh, tend to get training in because there are ways to level restoration relatively quickly and the other ones are all pretty quick to level as well. Destruction is just the main pain, the main painful thing. But without any more chatting, let's get out there and see what we have to do here. I've got to play as the sacrifice. Greetings, so, mother. Ooh. Daughter, who is this you have brought me? I found a willing subject for you. Payment has already been discussed, of course. Splendid. Please take a seat on the chair behind me, would you? Okay. Can I take this stuff first? Because this is undoubtedly all going to go flinging off the table if I don't. Ooh, Horror Castle of Zia. Don't mind me just uh, getting some reading in before you sacrifice me. I definitely don't have any intentions to quickly jump up and kill you. Hallowed Elven Sword. Yeah, let's take it. Minor Archery. Let's take it. Common Soul Gem. Staff of Frostbite. Will I have the carry weight? Is that right on the limit of the carry weight? It sure is. We really need Uthgird to come up for more than just a few reasons now. But let's sit in this chair. I'll just prepare the subject now. Yeah, let's just do that. Bada bing, bada boom, Ilya. I can't let you do this, Mother. You have to die now. Huh? Oh, I'm just gonna stand up real quick. I, I feel like you're gonna kill me. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, let's uh, let's get this play much knock out for sure. Let's get this out. I feel like we could have gone a bit uh, a, a bit of a different way about that Ilya, but I suppose this will do. Let's hit her. How strong is she? Very strong. That is the answer. And oh boy, that uh, that will damn near kill us. I think the only reason that's not getting so close to killing us is because we are uh, Breton, have all those mage uh, passive effects gone. But otherwise, that will definitely kill me. That will that will definitely kill me if I cannot heal myself right now. Cool. Okay, it just missed me, it looks like. But yeah, those blizzards are absolutely insane how powerful they are. Like, they will literally kill you as they pass through you. Oh, geez. See, I got stuck on a rock, and look, it passed through me. And I couldn't move, and it killed me. They're just insanely strong. Okay, let's get back up to where we were. And here we go. Let's, uh... Oh, okay, she's in a much better spot now, and Ilya is right on her. Good. She's not going to last very long. Awesome. Oh, come on. There we go. Done. Good stuff, Ilya. Don't be sorry for me. I just... If I would have known it would come to this... Mother... Keep Mother's staff. Think of it as payment. I want to leave everything from this cursed place behind. Goodbye. And thank you. Oh, I really wanted to have you as a follower. Can I still talk to you? Try not to set anything Ooh, on fire, yes, 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 right? yes, please. You could come with me. I suppose it would be better than sitting around thinking about all this. I could also do some good for a change. Sure, I'd go with you. Awesome. Follow me. I need your help. Looks like you've already got someone. No, with you. I don't. They're not here, and I don't want to lose you. Oh, I do. You're right there. Okay. First off, um, I'm still here. I need to trade some things what with you. What do you need to take? I'm going to dump everything I can on you, and then it won't be forever. It won't be forever, but I am going to get you to go back. Uh, take that as well. And, yeah, why not take that? 
and I'm gonna get you to go back to my home. So it's time for us to part ways. If you need me. Now I think she'll be. You're someone who can get things uh, done. I like. Can I set Let's where she goes? I wanted to go to Hendraheim. Let's get going. Um, actually, no. It's probably better if she just goes to White Run. I'm heading home. If you need. She's me. a bit more accessible at White Run. You. What do you need, my friend? Oh yes, follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. Sweet. You are so strong. You Wanna are such a, a good Lord follower. Wisdom? You don't really know a woman till you had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Yes, definitely. Definitely. 100% agree. Yep. Yep, that's that's exactly how I get to know my women. When I when I chat to them, the first thing I offer them is a beer and ask them if they want to take a couple on I'm not going to say that that's going to be perceived the wrong way. <laughs> We're just going to ignore everything Uthka just said. Ilya, let's go. Let's do this. I feel like, you know, Uthgird's good, but I feel like you're probably better for this situation coming up because your magic is just insanely strong. Um, and I'm really, really liking it. I didn't think I could get a follower as powerful as you so quickly. Linnell, what is this? Uh, is this the fine crow's tooth camp? Okay, is there some kind of, say, retrieve? Okay, hmm. Bones for a crow. I wonder who, oh, jeepers. Not good, not good. Get in there, Ilya. Get in there, nice. Look at that, absolute powerhouse. Absolute beast, destroyed him, no chance. Let's hit him. Whoa, gee, and I'm about to die. How good I had all those potions of minor healing, but they are just about gone now. Keep going. Try and hit everyone but Ilya. Really, really hard, but I am trying my best. Sorry, Ilya. I am really, really trying my best not to hit you, but you are pretty strong. Oh, maybe not super strong. Maybe not as strong as what you were in that quest, but still strong enough. Uh, what am I doing? I haven't even gotten out this. I haven't even gotten out the main player. There we go. Let's do that and then get this up when I can so I don't die instantly when someone hits me, which will more than likely happen. And let's see if we can courage up Ilya. Ilya's absolutely killing it. Taking on two on one. Jeepers, what a good swap out you were for Uthgird. And let's uh, stop her from healing herself. So we're going to get out some sparks. I really need some better area damage uh, spells. I mean, I really need some spells that aren't area damage. Some better spells that aren't area damage. Man, why was that so hard to say? Like, especially for lightning, because... Linnell's note. Especially for lightning, because I need something stronger than sparks that will help sap down the magic of um, mage opponents. So, Linnell's note. Let's read that. My god. Goodness, okie dokie. Linnell. Linnell's note. At Arkwind Point. Ugh. At Arkwind Point, the bones of the dead rattle in their stone cages, but the old magic is strong in those mountains, and with the help of the cat, who is a rat, a priest of Namira, no less, the crow will set them free. With his help, an army of bones will dance to her, cro to her core, be they warriors, shadows, or beasts, yet the cauldron shows the bones of two others dragons in mortal flesh who seek to challenge her inside towers of frost and stone it will be up to the crow to pick both their bones clean let's uh this is this is looking pretty interesting to be honest i have again never done this quest that's what i'm really loving about this playthrough is i'm just doing things i've never done so it almost feels like i've never played skyrim before obviously i've played it and i know the ins and outs for a lot of things but in terms of these quests i've i've never done a lot of them to be honest and you'd think i would have with all the time i've played it but i usually kind of tended to do the same things because i wasn't in survival mode and i wasn't picking up all these quests so i just fast traveled all over the map and just kind of went with the quests i already knew a lot of the time if that makes sense so anyway let's kill this guy real quick oh Ilya already getting to it way quicker than what i can you feel warmer and are now comfortable. So, has this, uh, after killing Linnell, has this... Do we have to keep pushing up, or... 
Yeah, travel to Arquin Point. So they're definitely somewhere else now. There's Arquin Point. And we have been very close to there before. Okie dokie. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, let's quickly run up here and see if there's anything else. Because I feel like there's something else to be seen up here. You know, with stairs and everything. Looks like it leads somewhere at least. Hopefully a chest. Hopefully. No, a troll. That is not what I wanted to see. They are so annoying to try and kill. But there is a chest in there. Good, good. Okay. Let's... Where are you, Linnell? Oh, actually, Linnell, you are going to absolutely destroy this thing. I've been finding it so hard to kill trolls lately, but you are going to destroy this thing. I can already tell. There, there we go. Look at that damage. Look at the damage she does. Oh, absolutely insane. Let's have a look at what's in this chest. Not much. And... Sorry, Linnell. Sorry, I'll start using this. Get some of my own health up. Destruction increase to 46. Come on. You're almost there, troll. Just let go. Just let go. There we are. And I forgot to soul trap you, but it's all good. I've been soul trapping quite a lot off camera while we've been traveling from place to place. Lots of wolves, lots of skeevers, lots of goats. Lots of things are going to become enchantments for me very soon. Okay, so I think we've done... A f we've definitely accomplished a fair bit in this episode. I think we're gonna have to definitely leave that Arquin Basin for next time and there's a few things that I want to do in the next episode as well but in any case thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe turn on the notification bell and leave any comments below but most of all please have a fantastic day bye bye